Do you want to start by taking a shot really quick? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous over here. My name's Angelo Mango, British cowboy. I'm going to be trying a bunch of American junk food for the first time that I've not tried since I moved here. Cheers. All right, let's do it. This is a staple. I don't yes, know what to expect. Oh, so I've seen these on, uh, what is it, Zombieland? He keeps like <laughs> freaking out about the Twinkies. This is an absolute honker of a <laughs> snack right here. It's so fluffy. That's fantastic. Yeah. That is so good. You know, I'm not disappointed. Like he built that up in that movie so much. Zombieland, oh, yeah. like Twinkies are fantastic. And they really are. What? A fruit gusher. Is this gonna like burst in my mouth? It might. It, it might? How many should I take? What's the recommended amount <laughs> to like one at a time? Yeah. All right. Well, it really gets up in your sh doesn't it? Like, <laughs> sticks to your teeth. These are good. I like when it pops. The texture is kind of f***ed up. I'm gonna be picking this shit up my teeth for days. They're more popular with kids. Yeah. I could see that. My like, put them in your pack like, lunch exactly kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! So I walk around the grocery store and I see this sh all the time and I'm like, what is the fascination? Oh, <laughs> and I drop it on the floor. No, it's like <laughs> exactly what I was expecting, like Jello, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I knew what the consistency was gonna be as soon as I like picked it up and like yeah. Yeah. I know what I'm expecting. I enjoyed it. I might even go buy a pack. Okay. And okay. sit at home. <laughs> Ravioli in a can. Cold. <laughs> a lot of people eat it straight from the can. Just like straight up out of the can. I mean, if a lot of people do it, then I've got to do it. One's enough, right? Maybe I'll have another. Depends how I'm feeling. I'm not really a picky eater. You know, I can only imagine an American being the pit, like the one who goes into the pantry, picks this up and just opens it and starts eating it. It's not bad though. I mean, for a dollar, that's pretty good. So you eat them cold? Oh yeah, I'll eat the hell yeah. out of those. Wow. Right well, SpaghettiOs specifically. SpaghettiOs is a little different. Okay. Yeah. You know, we put them on toast back home, like beans on toast. You put SpaghettiOs on toast? Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. I've been ready for this. Is it actual figs? Yeah. Oh. This is the best one yet. Whoa. I'm telling you, dude, it's like drinking like a good red wine or something. Like you take the first sip and then it sets in your mouth and you're like, holy sh**, that's actually fantastic. Wow. I'm going to finish this if that's cool. So, Fig Newtons just took first place. Well, when you all grew up eating this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> oh. Like we're a species. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay, are you ready? I think so. <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> huh? Do I just oh, squirt it into my I mouth? Can. Yeah. Thank you for the crackers, because I don't think I'd just be able to squirt that shit into my mouth. Did I f up? No, uh, you did it. That's it. How do you get it out? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't want to. Yeah. All right, let's go. It's absolute f***ing dog shit is what it is. That is the worst shit I've ever had in my life. That is not good at all. <laughs> it's so f***ing processed. It doesn't even taste like cheese. I don't know what it tastes like. Only Americans would come up with f***ing cheese in a can. That is wild. Whoa, what is this? So I recognize the brand. But yeah, I remember asking you about these and I was like, what the f is this? What are you guys, zebra? You say zebra? Zebra cake, zebra. 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 Okay, my bad. <laughs> I already know this is gonna be fire. I can't be serious when I find something good. I'm like, this is fucking so good. I'm gonna finish this, if that's cool. Yeah, take yeah. a moment. Let me just enjoy this. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm calling it. It's a tie right now. A tie? The Fig Newtons and these, these are the type of snacks that like, they're pretty light when you bite into them. So you don't feel like they're filling you up. They actually are. Yep. But like, you could just eat a fucking bunch of them. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Corn dog, baby. I can't believe I've never had one of these. The amount of like county fairs I've been to and stuff and I'm like, I've never had a corn dog. No. Like, so it's basically like a cornbread batter oh. with a hot dog in the center. Fuck. 
Let's do one mustard and then one ketchup. Oh, fucking hot. <laughs> God damn. I don't even like mustard. And this, like, pairs so well. This is so good. I feel like I should be at, like, a county fair somewhere. Just, like, there's a little kid running around, you know, the fucking corn dog in his hand. Like, like I'm reminiscing on the good old days that I never had because I grew up British, you know? Like, this is, like, doing that to me. This is so fucking good. Yeah, this is the best thing I've had. I I'm calling it. But I know we got one more thing to go, and I don't know what that one more thing is. Wow, so I always thought that toaster strudels were like pop tarts, but this looks nothing like. Oh, these are way better than pop tarts. Are they really? Way better. Yeah. Okay. No, that's so good. Are we just pop them in the toaster? Is that why they're called toaster strudels? Yeah, yeah. Fucking hey, genius. I don't. I wouldn't eat it as a a breakfast. I would eat it like late night. It's raining outside. I'm cozy on the couch, comfort food kind of thing for yeah. me, you know? I f with it. I f with it a lot. Yeah, that's great. But I gotta choose a winner. I'm sorry, it has to be the corn dog. The corn, corn dog's the clear winner for me. Like, corn dog, Fig Newton, zebra cakes. You opened my palate up to a whole new world today. I'm fing like. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so I guess that's a wrap. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Crude Culinary. And yeah, um, cheers. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah.